Yo, what is up, YouTube? It is your boy Charles here, back again with a brand new video for y'all today. And today I decided to just show my branded Despia deck list. And um, today I was playing remote regionals and I was also playing Seattle regionals two weeks ago. And it didn't really go as planned for the deck. I feel like I really bricked up a lot, like going first and second. Like my shuffling was just not crazy good for some reason. Like the RNG just did not help me. But you know, it is what it is. I just decided to just show the deck list just because you know, why not just for the video and um yeah guys um without further ado drop the like comment and always feel free to subscribe on to the monsters you just play the standard the three luber basically just get your bread of fusion like all it is and then the albazes play three albaz standard and you know albaz is just really good to have like a second albaz in the graveyard really goes crazy credit for the gimmick puppet like all of that for that reason then three albion the shrouded dragon really good to just dump your branded spells in albaz especially your branded spells like retribution just to get your branded fusion popping up and it's just a really good card to have and a free draw uh two quem i feel like two quem going forward is just always going to be just two quem in general because two quem is just really good to have as just a one card starter and it just goes crazy um two cartesias i, I was actually considering thinking about playing three in a 50 card deck um because cartesia is literally just your poly on the field and she really is good i just wish that you can really use it on battle phase you know because because <laughs> today like i was facing against my friend like hours hours ago against tenpai and bro just cooked me and i couldn't really do much like tenpai against branded is just not a good matchup because freaking tenpai just otks you regardless if you have like a crazy end board unless you have mirror jade but then you can still try to you know destroy mirror jade regardless you feel me and you know it's just crazy um two mercurier i like because i'm playing the allure i'm playing the allure of darkness I run two Mercury just to banish it if I have it in my hand, and it's really nice to have it. And uh, yeah, I really like the card. Uh, two Tragedy just to get your Surge. Despias, we all know what it does. Um, one Spriggan's Kit, really, really good for the combo play. But to be honest, I never even got the chance to summon it. And I mean, I mean, I did summon it once, but it didn't really go crazy, crazy because I really needed the card in my hands, but I had to place it in the bottom of my deck, sadly. And then the gimmick puppet log, which they'll never ever get rid of because it's gimmick puppet. One Sarnir, this card, you need to play it. Uh, one ad libitum, just for Chimera and just other plays, like to get Mirji back and all that stuff. You know what it does. And the one Lubellion, just to use it for the brand fusion. And that's basically all the monsters. And yeah, I feel like this ratio is somewhat okay for the 50 cards. So. Yeah, that's pretty much for the monsters. On to the spells. I play a lot. Which obviously, everyone plays a lot of spells. So, three branded opening. This card's just really good to get Quem and a Luber. Well, not just a Luber, but a Quem, which it goes crazy. Uh, Branded Fusion, we all know. You just gotta ash this card every time against Brandon, no matter what. Two branded to red, really good card. Just to get Albaz and try to gimmick puppet on their turn. Or just for follow up. Just so, sorry if you can't see this. Let me fix it. There you go. Uh, one High Spirits just for the dump fodder with Albion or just any monster that reveals with the same type. A 2500 attack and yada yada. Um, one Lost. Yeah, Branded Lost goes crazy. Magical Meltdown. Basically branded. Good. Branded White is actually not bad. Um, I feel like this card's really good if you have your Albaz in, band in your graveyard already to summon off. And you know, this card's just really good. I feel like you only just need one realistically. Just a standard branded card. And that's basically all the branded spells here. And for the extra spells, the three thrust, you gotta play three of this. It's really mandatory. Everyone plays three unless. If you don't have thrust, you basically just you can play talents. Probably just two talents in the deck. Which is really good. You can also get your fusion duplication as well. If like if they use hand traps. 
in case they all got a monster and all that stuff. And yeah, Thrust goes crazy in this deck. Speaking of crazy, Fusion Deployment. Love this card a lot to get Cartesia or Albaz. Sometimes, like, you can literally finesse them. Well, not really finesse them, but it's, like, good going second if, like, they have an extra deck monster. Then you just go straight to Albaz, activate this shit, and just go Albaz, then effect, just bait out their uh, place. Really like it. Three Droplet. Good, crazy good card. Like, Board Breakers going forward will probably, re will probably be better. Like, Board Breakers in general is just so good to have, because... Right now, Droplet, like, although that we got, although D-Shifter is still prevalent, like, Droplet right now is just so good right now, in my opinion. Uh, and, and the 3 Alert Darkness, um, yeah, like I said, playing 3 Alert Darkness, I'm playing 50 cards. I actually was, because, like, one time, I was actually playing 60 cards in the Seattle Regional, but didn't go as planned. I bricked up a lot, so 60 cards, it didn't go as planned on that one. So, in today's regionals, I was playing was just 50, but again, didn't go as planned. So, it is what it is. Decks are just really good, besides Brandon, I guess, or it's just me. But hey, it is what it is. Everyone's trying to learn. This is how it is. So, one talents. I was actually running three at one point, but I feel like one's better. Uh, one gold Sark. Yep, just to get your search. Then one foolish. Basically, my only one ups for the spells. And, um, yeah, that is basically all the spells here. I really like the ratios. Really, really do. The traps, fusion duplication, and retribution. Really good card. Retribution is really good. Just dump off Albion or Sarnir. It's crazy. So that is the 50 card main deck. And we will go straight to the extra deck. Two Mirror Jane. Like, literally one Mirror Jane in today's format. Like, what can you do, really? Mirji is just so busted. We need a soft once per turn card just to banish a monster. And yeah, literally one Mirror Jade. Like, what can you really do against it? Like, Tenpike cannot really do much against it. Well, I mean, they can still OTK you. Snake Eyes, kinda, if they have Appaloosa. Um, yeah, still a good card to this day. Uh, let's go. The two Albion. Just standard. And then people used to play one. But now people start to play two Grand Wignal. Grand Wignal is just really good. Just to dump off your uh, level 6 uh, lighter darks. And the fact that you can also use this card as a material for I'll be on the Sanctifier is just ridiculous. And one Lubellion. Man, back in the day people were playing two of this, but now you just only need one. Uh, one Stapalia, just in case if you if your board is not crazy, you go into Stapalia. Off a of fusion dupe and just dump brand and banish brand of fusion. Then you basically just get just a paler on the field, depending on your board. Um, one Rimbrum if you're going crazy. Rimbrum is really wild. Um, if you have two Albazes or just one Albaz, just use this card, just dump it off in the graveyard. And then you can just use it whenever. Well, actually, you can't even use it whenever. It has to be uh, anything from the extra deck, which, hey. It still works well. It's a good bait. Um, one Titanic clad. Some people have been summoning this card lately, and it's just nice. Really, really good card to have, and good disc and a good graveyard fodder. Uh, one Quaddle. Quaddle's also good against Tenpai somewhat, but you know, the only time that will be ever good is if you know lowering the attack during the main phase. But it really doesn't do much, so it is what it is. Where it is somewhat like somewhat good one masquerade bro i remember people used to run three of this card bro three masquerades just goes crazy like hey i might as well just do that just to win uh one furious to be honest with you i don't know how to really summon this some of the furious dragon much like maybe maybe my combos just didn't go as planned but Fury's Dragon is good just to get rid of like floodgates and all that stuff. Just anything away. Even the field spell. Like especially the field spell, bro. That card, the field spell of Tempai Dragon. Like that card just goes wild. Like, they need to consider hitting that card at some point. Uh, one Chimera. Just good card. And the one, the only way you can actually get Gimmick Puppet. 
the Albion, the Sanctifier. Um, Sanctifier, literally just on draw phase. Like, all you gotta do on draw phase, just get your gimmick pub and your any monster that you need, and you basically just win the game. So, Albion is crazy good. That is the extra deck. Onto the side. My side deck's kind of it's kind of questionable. So, three evenly match. Um, yeah, it's really good going second. You gotta get rid of the whole board just to make a good board on your side. And you gotta play it. Uh, the one harpy feather. Yeah, you gotta play back rows. Two lightning storm. More back row. Three Nibiru's. I feel like Nibiru right now, ever since uh, Baron and Savage got banned, I feel like Nibiru right now is really good. However, it kind of depends on the batch up in this case. So it's like, you know, hey, just got to play it. Uh, one change of heart. I like this card a lot. I feel like change of heart is actually not bad. This should really kind of like, I'm going to really say this right now, bro. Yo, you know, you know how OZG has freaking change of heart three. Fuck it. You might as well just bring change your heart back to three. Like mind control, bro. Bring this shit back to three. We can, I'm going to use that shit on oh, God. Uh, one dark ruler. I feel like dark ruler. I never even got the chance to use it. So I might just consider switching it at some point. This dark ruler is somewhat I, but it's just not, not a big fan of it. Uh, three D barrier. My friends decided to tell me to run three D barrier from yesterday. And you know, D barrier, it's I. Seabury Zite depends on the matchup. Um, not good against Melodius because they also run fusions. But you know, I still I need to study Melodius. Like not even any like not even every single player knows what it does. So I can I managed to face against someone with Melodius, and uh, yeah, I was very confused. But he did he did show me what it really does and all that, which I'm very thankful for. Uh, shout out to the guy that I faced against him. Uh, and then the Karma Cannon, just you know. Just book a moon every foot. Just book a moon. And yeah, this is basically the whole deck list. Um, if there's any changes that you guys would consider dropping down below in the comments section, I would greatly appreciate it. Because Brand of Despia is honestly a really hard deck to learn. Like, it's like really, really hard to understand. Despite so many new support they have with the story and the lore. And, um,. No, I want to play this deck so so much as much as possible because I'm not I'm because I don't want to give up on the deck like I don't want to give up on the deck just yet like I like the two regionals I was playing didn't go as planned didn't really have time to practice because <laughs> dude freaking working full-time job is a pain in the butt and uh you know I do I really really need to start practicing more often <laughs> Like, it hasn't been the same since, so... Hey, guys, sorry for, like, the extra talking. Um, let's, uh, let's just end the video real quick. Sorry. Um, yeah, guys, if you guys haven't already, um, drop the like, comment, and always feel free to subscribe. Oops. And always feel free to subscribe because, you know, I would like to one day become a YouTuber just like, uh, MBT, everybody else that is, like, famous in the Yu-Gi-Oh scene. One day, if I was to be famous on here, probably get, probably sign you guys autographs and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, sorry, sorry. And um, yeah, guys. Um, without further ado, this is Charles, and um, I'm out of here. So peace out.